Did you know that the risk of developing testicular cancer is estimated to be at least 10 times greater in dogs with cryptorchidism than in normal dogs? So if you have a dog with undescended testicle or testicles and you are still trying to decide for that surgical procedure, stick around because today we are going to talk about cryptorchidism in dogs. Welcome back guys, my name is Dr. Threshold. Every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. This week we are going to talk about cryptorchidism, the undescended jewels in your dogs. No? But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Dr. Animal Wellness Center. We are also on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Ford Threshold. And on TikTok pala. Please follow us there. On with our topic for today, but first, let's all define cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism is the medical term that refers to the failure of one or both testicles, pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawa, to descend into the scrotum. The testicles develop near the kidneys within the abdomen and normally descend into the scrotum by two months of age. Two months, okay? So in certain dogs, it may occur later. Ibang breeds. But rarely after 6 months of age. So, cryptorchidism may be presumed to be present if the testicles cannot be felt in the scrotum after 2 to 4 months of age. By 4 months of age. And your puppy's te testicles are still not palpable, he is what we call a cryptorchid. No? If the testicles are not in the scrotum, nasaan anyo saan siya napunta? No? So the first area where we, veterinarian, will look for the undescended jewels is your dog's inguinal region or in the groin, sa singet, no? what we call the inguinal canal. If you have a male dog right now, pahigayin nyo sila, lie them flat or yung for a belly rub. While doing the belly rub, check nyo if nandun yung testicles nila sa singet, if they're undescended. If it's not in the groin, it's probably inside the abdominal region. Yung kana nang wala. Kaliwa, meron dito sa lang. Pero yung kana, ayun na dito. How is cryptorchidism diagnosed? In cases of abdominal cryptorchidism, the testicle cannot be felt from the outside. Wala sa singit, wala siyempre sa testicle. No? So an abdominal ultrasound or radiograph may be performed to determine the exact location so of the retained testicle. But this is not often done before the surgery as it is not required to proceed with surgery. Typically, only one testicle lang is retained and is called a unilateral cryptorchidism. If you have a dog that does not appear to have testicles but is exhibiting male behaviors, so a hormonal test called an HCG stimulation test can be performed to see if he is already neutered. Kasi baka neutered na Nyo asa niyo when you got him and you didn't know uh, na 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 neutered na no, tinagal pala kaya wala doon and all this time undescended pala yung kanyang testicle and the only way for you to distinguish is if it's if your dog is exhibiting signs of an uh, intact dog no na nagahap na nagmamark no so these things ano nga ba yung causes bakit nagkakaroon ng cryptorchidism and how common is this kind of condition? So, itong cryptorchidism occurs in all breeds, but pinaka common sa toy breeds, including toy poodles, pomeranians, and Yorkshire terriers, they are the highest risk to develop this kind of condition. So, approximately 75% of cases of cryptorchidism involve only one retained testicle, while the remaining 25% involve failure of both testicles to descend into the scrotum. Usually, the right testicle is more than twice as likely to be retained in the, than the left. No? Uh, cryptorchidism affects approximately one-third of all dogs. One-third of all dogs. The condition appears to be inherited since it is commonly seen in families of dogs, although the exact cause is not fully understood. 
What are the signs of cryptarchidism? So, this condition is rarely associated with pain or other signs unless a complication develops. Pag inisan, hinahawakan mo nga, wala silang pakialam. Eh. In its early stages, a single retained testicle is significantly smaller, as maliit, than the normal testicle. If both testicles are retained, the dog may be infertile. The retained testicle continue to produce testosterone but generally fail to produce sperm. One complication of cryptarchidism is spermatic cord torsion. Yun twist. If this occurs, there will be signs consistent with sudden and severe abdominal pain. More frequently, a retained testicle will become cancerous. No? Yung kung madaming pwedeng cancer, so the clinical signs associated with the testicular cancer depend upon the specific type of cancer, seminoma, usually, nagiging cause dyan. So, look at this, no? Ito yung descended testicle. Ito yung, ano ka, ito yung nasa loob. Mas malaki nasa labas kasi nasa loob, no? Amin natin kukumpara. But, yeah. kailangan tanggalin to otherwise... It may form into a seminoma of some form of tumor, which is, uh, you know, dangerous. So, kaya natin siya kailangan tanggalin ngayon. Plus, this pet is already showing signs of BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, and treatment yan is castration. Okay. Anong treatment? Castration or neutering and removal of the retained testicle or testicles are recommended. If only one testicle is retained, the dog will have two incisions, one for extraction of each testicle. No, dito we will make two incisions. No, isa dito yung regular castration. Yung kanan testicle lang pa niya yung nagdesend, yung kaliwa yung hindi. So we're going to look for the other one here, the side. Usually it's just under the skin. Yeah, to siya. It's here. Okay, but it's in the groin, it's in the inguinal canal. So we're just gonna make another incision here para makuha natin ito. So if both testicles are in the inguinal canal, there will also be two incisions. Dalawa, sing it. If both testicles are in the abdomen, a single abdominal incision will allow access to both. Incisions here, yung isa na nandito sa regular castration, tapos yung isa na nandito sa right sa left side of the penis, uh, para ma open natin yung abdomen, no? Uh, we try to look for the testicle dito, minsan kasi na nandito siya sa singit lang, dito sa groin, uh, wala siya don, no? So kapag ganyan, talaga you have to go under, you have to go inside the abdomen for you to find out. Why do we still need to remove the descended testicle if it's already normal naman? Because he can still breed and pass on the genetic aberration to produce more cryptor kid puppies. What if I don't want to neuter my dog? I don't want to subject my dog to any form of surgery whatsoever for this kind of condition. So there are a lot of uh, several good reasons for neutering a dog with cryptor kidism, as well as there are so many good reasons why you should neuter a dog in the first place. The first reason is to remove the genetic defect from the breed line. Yung one testicle lang, they can reproduce. Para yung yung dalawa, hindi. Cryptor kid dogs should never breed bred. No, kahit isa lang yung naka-descend, naka they can still reproduce. Yung, pero kapag dalawa, hindi sila makakapag-reproduce. No? Kapag dalawa yung hindi nag-descend. Second, dogs that have retained testicle are more likely to develop a testicular tumor, cancer, or in the retained testicle. Third, as described earlier, the testicle can twist, causing pain and requiring emergency surgery to correct. Finally, dogs with a retained testicle typically develop an undesirable characteristic associated with intact males like halimbawa yung urine marking and aggression, uh, and the likes, no? So, the risk of developing testicular cancer is estimated to be at least 10 times greater in dogs with cryptarchidism than in normal dogs. So how long will the procedure take? No? Inguinal castration takes around the same length of time it would take to do a regular castration. Kung gaano katagal yung regular castration, that's how long it will take for um, inguinal castration. Your dog will first undergo pre-op screening to make sure that he is fit for the procedure. After the procedure, 
you can go home at the same day or the following day depending on the time or when it's done no? and depending also if there are no complications post op so what is the prognosis for a dog with cryptorchidism the prognosis is excellent for dogs that undergo surgery early before problems develop in the retained testicle. The surgery is relatively routine and the outcomes are overwhelmingly positive. Okay, I hope this video is helpful and if you have other questions about cryptorchidism, you may visit any of our Doctors Animal Wellness Centers or you may call these numbers listed here. You may also visit our website at www.docfordsawc.com. This has been your vet, Docford Sresho. See you again next week. Like, share, and follow. Music